Hey, Victory Tribe. This is the Sunday Morning Victory Tribe recap from October the 4th. And uh, man, what a powerful service. What, a, what an opportunity to be able to uh, be with you guys, even though we're here uh, in Colorado at a minister's conference. We, had, we were able to be a part of the Victory Tribe and be able to speak into your life and minister into your life. And so uh, small groups, so glad that you're meeting again, gathering you know, something that's big, been big on my heart is uh, we have to be in community. And community doesn't happen in large gatherings only. It happens in small group gatherings. And even though we just have a few groups, it's important that we continue to grow our groups and to develop leaders that will just simply love people and be a part of, uh, a part of developing uh, community groups where we're in community with one another, fellowshipping with one another, and uh, growing together in Christ, praying for one another, supporting one another, uh, all that, all of that's part of community. So we appreciate you. The recap for this Sunday is the, the title was Living from the Inside Out. And instead of us always trying to get God to give us something or give us more faith, give us more wisdom, give us more power, give us more joy, give us more hope. Uh, what we really want to do is change that whole dynamic and um, start realizing that we already have everything that we need. We have everything in our born again spirit that we need. And so the opening verse that I use was 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. that says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And so... Uh, based on that, if we look at our body or we look at our soul, uh, all things are not passed away in my soul. I still have some old patterns of thinking that are being renewed in my body. I still have scars from before uh, I was saved. And, uh, you know, I I've got wrinkles in my body. So all things have not become new in my body. They've not become totally new in my soul. My soul is in the process of being renewed. My mind's in the process of being renewed. But as far as my born again spirit, it's perfect. It's wall to wall God, full of power, full of glory. And the second verse that we use was 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 1, which uh, basically said that we have already obtained like precious faith with the apostle Peter, the one that raised that crippled man out of the uh, from his crippled state who uh, his shadow when it simply touched people's bodies uh they were healed that same faith that was in peter that did all those miracles is inside of your born again spirit right now and you may not feel that you may not think that but it's already in there and we've got us we got to change this dialogue uh from old covenant to new covenant I lived so long trying to get more of God in me, trying to get revival in me, trying to get more anointing in me, more power in me. And uh, that that's true when it comes to my soul. I need to experience more of his power, more of his life, more anointing in me. And that's why we need the fivefold ministry gifts uh, to help us to, to get a hold of that in our soul. But we really need to understand that that's already on the inside of you. It's already in your born again spirit. And uh, we need to begin to acknowledge that. Then second Peter chapter one, verse three says that he, according as his divine power has already given to us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Man, we already have everything that we need for life, physical life, all, all of our life, all, all aspects of our life, everything we need is already deposited in our spirit and godliness. Everything we need to live a godly, holy, blessed life is already in our born again spirit. It's already in there. It's a matter of acknowledging what we have. It's not trying to get more of it. Praise God. We need more revelation. Amen. So, you know, as you gather in your meeting today, uh, I'm, I've got some scriptures that I've put in the notes, uh, and I want you to look at those scriptures and just jumpstart them. Number two, identify what that scripture is saying about your spirit. 
identify what it's saying is in your spirit. One of those is going to be Romans chapter eight, verse 10, that says if uh, Christ is in you, even though your body is dead because of sin, your spirit is life because of righteousness. And if the spirit of him that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you, then he who raised Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal body. He's talking about the resurrection power of Jesus is already in your spirit. Even though your body is spiritually dead, it's not physically dead, but spiritually dead, the life that's in your spirit is quickening your body. It's inside out, not outside in. Jesus said, out of your belly flows rivers of living water. Talk about this. Unpack this with one another. Go to those different scriptures that I have in the notes, read them, and share how those are the things that are already on the inside of you. And then I want you to ask this question and get some discussion going. How big of a difference is it to live from the inside out where everything is already in your spirit versus outside in where you're always trying to get, go to services, go to revivals and get more of something? Amen. It's a huge difference, but just unpack that with each other. Talk about it. Love you guys. Make sure you pray for one another. Let the gifts of the Spirit flow. Prophesy. Let the gift of prophecy flow. Call each other's identity out by the Holy Ghost. Pray. Build each other up. Encourage one another. We love you. Have a blessed small group meeting. God bless you guys.